Hey guys, hope you're okay. Welcome back to another reaction video here on the channel. And today, this is a Nuke's Top 5, and this is called Real Ghosts Caught on Camera, Top 5 Scariest Ghosts. Yeah. Anyway, this is actually a Nuke's Top 5. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, you know how this works, guys. I just react to them, give you my input on them. Do I think they're legit? Do I think they're fake? And then I ask you guys in the comments, let me know what you think. So, and... Just quickly before I get into this video, at the end of the video I'm just going to be mentioning something. Um, a couple of investigations that I've got coming up guys. So um, let's just get straight into it. Top 5 Ghosts Call on Camera the Seance Witch Paranormal investigator Brad Mack and his team were investigating a place called The Cage in a little town called St. Joseph in England. The town and the site has a dark history. Starting in the year 1582, this building was used as a prison, but not just any prison. The jail was used to confine and execute women convicted of witchcraft. Brian Mack says that during his paranormal investigation, his team heard strange footsteps and whispers. They saw lights flicker for no reason, and they even felt something bite or pinch them on several occasions. One member of their team named Vanessa was so shaken that she absolutely refused to stay in the building after dark. But the most bizarre incident was yet to come. Late that night, the group decided to perform a seance to contact the ghosts of the convicted women who had died there. As Brian Mack watched and recorded from another room, he saw something very strange happen to a woman in the group. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. One seance member's face actually begins to change and contort into something that can only be described Kills. as horrific. Her nose seems to grow and her mouth stretches into a bizarre inhuman grin right in front of their camera. Fearing for the woman's safety, they call down and remove her from the group. After the seance, the woman has a strange burn mark down the back of her neck, even though she had been dressed in several layers of clothing. She later said that after the incident, she experienced horrible nightmares and bizarre occurrences around her home. So, was this some supernatural possession by a ghost caught on camera? Or just a bizarre trick of the light? Hmm. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Interesting, but I've seen that happen before. The Vickers Hill Ghost The city of Armagh in Northern Ireland has a grim and ghostly past. The city is one of the oldest in Ireland and is believed to have been an ancient pagan ceremonial spot. The site of Vickers Hill in Armagh is said to be one of the most haunted areas of the city, home to the infamous Green Lady Ghost. In this clip, a woman driving her car on Vickers Hill doesn't see the Green Lady, but does catch a strange supernatural encounter all her own. The man in the video seems to walk across the road and disappear right into a wall that surrounds the Church of Ireland Cathedral. He seems to be dressed in Georgian fashion, wow. a style of clothing that hasn't been worn in the city for over 200 years. Singapore Highway Ghost <clears throat> Oddly enough, this next video was posted to the Singapore road safety site, roads.sg a site which usually posts videos and information about Singapore traffic. The post shows someone driving on a busy Singapore highway late at night when they spot something very unexpected in the middle of the road. Do see the guys. I actually missed that. The car 
caught the image of the girl oh, in both is. its front and rear dash cams. Send it. The story was picked up by several <laughs> online tabloid sites, and some viewers suggested that the girl seemed to be floating in the road. Now, to me, it actually looks like a girl balancing herself on the divider in the middle of a very dangerous highway, which is pretty bizarre either way. But what do you think? Is it just a dangerous balancing act, or is it a ghost caught on camera? Let me know down in the comments. Bank Ghost Girl Workers at the Credit Bank BCP in Peru were hanging out after business hours having a chat as one of them tested out the camera on his new phone. Suddenly, he catches something very strange in the background of the video. Sí, pero lo que pasa es que ese es el Mongol de Alonso, que es media, media bestia es. Oye, oye, ya, pero... Ahora, ya, con tu 50%, ¿no puedes hacer las cosas bien? ¡Pena! ¡Pena! <laughs> ¿Cómo oh, se quiere que la gente no quiere? I can see it. It looks like a child or something. Yeah. Whoa, okay, I was looking somewhere completely different. He tells his workmate that he just saw the shadowy figure of a little girl. Okay, I was looking somewhere completely different. I was looking there. His co workers don't seem to believe him, so the man goes to check, but nothing there. That was creepy. Footage from a second bank security camera shows the bank's front door seeming to open. Hmm. And then close, all on their own. Could it have been the breeze or...? Secret swimmer. Kim Davison and her friend Jesse took their children swimming at Lockyer Creek in Queensland, Australia. At one point, Kim's daughter claimed that she felt something grabbing her leg. But her mom thought nothing of it, assuming the girl had just brushed up against a stick or some other piece of debris floating in the water. Later... Kim took a photo of herself, Jesse, and their three children splashing around in the creek. But when Kim looked back at her photo, she saw something that chilled her to the core. There appeared to be a fourth ghost child swimming right along wow, beside them. that's pretty cool. After the strange photo was posted to Facebook, the story became even creepier. One viewer did a little digging and discovered that a young girl named Doreen O'Sullivan had drowned at that exact spot 100 years earlier. Wow, wow, wow. So is this just a strange reflection in the water? Or is this little Doreen O'Sullivan's ghost caught on camera? Guys, that was incredible. I'm not sure about the bank doors. If there was no breeze, then yeah. But I'm not 100% sure about that. The other ones were pretty cool. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. The notification bell is on. Leave a like and leave a comment. Also, um, I'm going to be doing two nighttime investigations in July. Uh, one is going to be at a hotel, but I'll tell you more about that at the um, close to the time. And I'm hoping to be doing Canuck Chase at night as well, in July as well. Um, either June or July. So, guys, until next time, make sure you subscribe. Notification bell is on. Until next time, guys, stay safe and be kind to each other.